Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and this week we have a dancehall pattern for you guys. So you guys are trying to get into the dancehall beat. Um, we're, go we're gonna be doing some dancehall today, right? Now, there are a lot of dancehall patterns, so I'm not going to cram it down all in one video to give you information overload. So every week I'm gonna try to do one dancehall pattern and then I want you to challenge yourself to build a full beat with it right guys okay so there are different modes when it comes to studio one you can either build it in patterns you can build it in the mini mode or you could build it in the arranger view right so i'm going to show you the different ways on how you could start building this pattern right i'm going to do a one bar beat right i'm going to do these kind of basic stuff here so You'll get a gist of how this whole things work, right? Now, the first thing we want to do is set our quantization to 16 and then set our bars also to 16, right? So, our first, well, the dancehall pattern for today will go like this, right? Now, if you build in the range of view, you're going to be using just a kick or a snare, or you can replace the snare with a rim, right? So, our first pattern begins with the kick. And there's a kick on one. There is a kick on the half one. And then there is a kick on the and of three, right? So we have one, half one, and and of three, right? That's our kick pattern. All right. Let's just lower the volume of this. Run this too loud. right so let's fill it in with um a snare i'll use a snare today and the snare will go on the it will go on the end of two and then the snare will go on the four like that right and guys that's our pattern for the to today today right and basically this pattern has been borrowed and using many different genres including um reggaeton um some genres have even speed it up to get a completely different song right now even though you're not building a dancehall beat it's good to still see how different beats of different genres are made because a lot of those stuff are borrowed and either sped up and slow down and a totally different song is created right now guys we're gonna build the same beat pattern but with the editor mode this time right so we're gonna need to borrow one of our sampling machines for this we're gonna use our impact Alright, we're gonna use our same kick. Use our same kick and we're gonna tighten it up. Next we're going to use our snare and we will also tighten up that right now guys the the thing with X it with impact is that it runs everything through one channel right and we want to adjust the volume so again we're going to hit it with two we're going to give this one its own channel and we're going to lower this volume so that it's not too loud in the video but again guys when you're doing it you will want to adjust it based upon your beat right so all right let's raise the volume a little bit so so that you can hear it Next, we're going to create a bar and go to our editor mode. All right. Now, guys, remember, you could scale these things, right? These things here are scalable. All right. For our beat, we are going to do again the one, the half one. Then we will do the and of three. 
next we will do the and of two for this snare and we will also do the four right so you see i'm showing you how to build it in different modes you don't have to stick to any one mode whichever mode works best for you in studio one right so we'll meet this and now this is just coming through these 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 one channel here right nice all right guys so again our final way in which we can build patterns in studio one we're gonna completely duplicate this right we'll unmute this and we're going to convert the patterns right if you have never done this before this is a section where wherever you have done before it remains here whatever last feature you use so if you have never done created patterns before all right, so if we we'll come here and we will do convert the patterns, right? And we'll remove it. And to do this in patterns mode, again, the same 16 bars. And again, we count in one, E and R. And then this is two E and R, three E and. So we'll put the and here. And then next we will do our and of two and then we will do our four so this is how we would get this in patterns mode right so now let's do it and there you have it guys that's our tutorial for this week our first um dancehall pattern in studio one using the different um tools to make it right so you could do it in patterns mode you could do it in midi mode and then guys you could do it direct on the arranger like this right guys all right guys i hope you like this tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and keep viewing for more we're gonna have more complicated stuff coming up but for now we're just dealing with the basics right so again we just had us um a snare and a kick and why I really like my my mode is definitely the patterns mode because I could just easily change out this by just dragging and dropping. Now remember you could just you could also use the rim, right? Before we go, you could also use the rim and get a completely different song, right? right and we could also do this in the mini editor mode by just switching it over here and again we unmute it and now we have it right but in the arrange of view we definitely have to just delete and swap it out right guys all right guys different tools for different folks this is our first dancehall pattern on the channel hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials